dividing the society into these four capitals is a special uh, approach. And I think it is important to see those capitals as highly complex, interrelated, and internally uh, differentiated networks. So it's not uh, homogeneous in entirety, but a, a complex uh, network which are internally and externally interrelated. And uh, for this reason, it is uh, to clear up a bit what these uh, 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 capitals are. The natural capital is only the part of nature which is used by the society and is not the total nature. Uh, this is quite often not uh, made explicit uh, because uh, we are grabbing in the earth or elsewhere and this is submit to the logic of uh, the societal interaction. So this uh, limits are very flexible. We can make it as we can uh, expand them. The second one is man-made capital is the total uh, quantity in the sense of a network of the material and immaterial properties and equipment, including patents and things like this, we are already frozen in firms. And uh, through the combination with uh, the extracted natural resources, we produce uh, the, uh, the economic wealth we have, and we are permanently using for reproducing this uh, man-made capital we use uh, additional natural capital. So the financial capital is uh, a kind of instrument to uh, facilitate all kinds of productive transactions, provided that they are uh, the artificial uh, capital is really uh, invested in real production. It is not uh, wealth producing if it is self-referentially uh, growing. So the fourth point is human capital. And this is quite clear. This is the sum of all human potentials which combine these capitals. And uh, they are just uh, uh, the final force which moves all the other capitals which exist, actually and also in an evolutionary perspective. So these capitals, the, the defining the capitals as such, is strongly influenced by economic thinking. Uh, for example, human capital has no meaning in my sense uh, as an economist. <laughs> uh, it's just coming from Chicago and uh, taken over by many ecologists. And therefore, I think these four capitals we should consider as social energies, interrelated networks which produce energy in itself, beyond itself, with the interrelation with the others. And uh, the main point is to enforce and to uh, increase the human capital. I take this to the term again, the social energy of humans. They are driving the whole system and uh, 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 we have to uh, find the right way of interaction. So this concerns sustainability. Uh, actually, the financial capital is dominating uh, the whole system. It is dominating the production.
productive uh, capital, man-made and natural capital, and above all human capital. This is exactly the inverse uh, of uh, the needed system which can be sustainable and human-centered. Therefore, we have to integrate all these capitals I mentioned, because we have not to lose the inherited wealth in these capitals, but to reintegrate them, use everything, and develop them further. This means that uh, if we take uh, uh, each capital internally first, this means that uh, we have to reproduce financial capital, uh, man-made capital, partly natural capital, and above all this oppressed human capital. Uh, this means, in every case, cooperation between capitals, internally and externally. This means empathy of all actors, which are the humans, who have just instruments uh, to work in their system, in, in uh, their environment. We have to be careful what we are doing, and we have to be conscious, conscious of what uh, we can do and what the consequences of our action are. And you can already see this is a really complex system <laughs> which uh, has to be a living system as separate cap capitals and uh, as uh, interacting capitals. So, uh, for example, if uh, you uh, increase the quantity of money, if nobody is using it for productive services, it has no uh, value. But if you are able to perform uh, with all this interaction that uh, man-made capital is increased through technological progress, which facilitates also the inclusion of natural capital uh, regarding the limits of uh, the natural capital. You can increase financial capital without limits. So it's the question <laughs> if Human uh, investment capital and natural capital can be combined in such a way that there arrive no natural limits by expanding the quantity of financial capital. So this is quite clear that this means we have to change fundamentally our productive system because the productive system consists of man-made capital and natural capital. And the human capital, I will refer uh, to it later, but the system of nature and uh, the instruments we derive from nature have to be changed for being uh, able to increase uh, financial capital and increasing fi uh, societal wealth through increasing financial capital only on the premises that you have a productive system which doesn't hurt the natural limits and this is the final point here uh, human capital if you change the system uh, of man-made and natural capital uh, on the disadvantage of human capital, it will not work because human capital is the final driver of all what happens, including the financial capital. So uh, human capital can through 
technological, sociological, ecological innovation, all kind of innovation, cultural innovation, and so on. <coughs> you can form a system which is able to uh, increase further society the wealth and redistribute it. Uh, so if we introduce developing countries and uh, developed countries or capitalist countries, so through changing the distribution of capital, the productive capital, you can increase it uh, enormously. But provided it is made according to the social limits and the limits of the human capital. So uh, human capital uh, is uh, the driving force, and so we have to develop uh, the human capital. And this uh, goes back to the network of human potentials. As I call it, the social develop and enlarge and unless the social energies of human capital. According to the uh, uh, cooperation, empathy, and, and carefulness, and so on, cooperation. So, if we develop human capital in this sense, we can increase the total wealth, but also the well being of the humans themselves. So, it's a a uh, circle which goes back to humans and this, as they are the main force for driving the whole system it must be the most important target of all action we do it is not protecting nature as the sole target it is primarily to protect humans. And if you protect uh, natural capital, you protect at the same time human capital because we are part of the natural capital as human beings. So we have uh, many possibilities of thinking and spiritual ideas and religion uh, and so on. But uh, finally, we are, uh, if we speak in a worldly world, you know, the economists have been called as the worldly philosophers by Heimwander, you know. This is, I think it's a good idea. Uh, uh, in the world, we have to protect not only nature, but primarily humans. Why? Because Humans are able to enlarge the limits of nature through technological innovation, through substitution of nature, through man-made capital, uh, and uh, for redistributing the wealth. So what is the final result? And I think that's enough for the day. Uh, what is important is that we, if we integrate financial, man-made, natural, and human capital, it is ultimately the increase of human capital. And this means, on the one side, that the deviation from sustainability, which we uh, see since 50 or 100 years or 20 years or whatever you uh, choose uh, it is the deviation according to the limits of human potentials it is the human potentials uh, which is the ultimate limit and uh, we discuss all over the world natural limits uh, for not choosing the basic question to protect the human beings 
and develop the human beings. So it is important to discuss natural limits, limits of financial system and limits, limits of our consciousness. And so it is finally uh, rooted in the development of individuals, you call it very often individualities, uh, social relations, uh, uh, and, uh, and all what, what constitutes a, a fully developed, Alberto, fully developed persons. So uh, this is uh, the, the main idea which does not negate the enormous difficulties to restructure the financial system, the man-made capital system, natural system, but ultimately we depend on humans and our final target must be to develop humans. Thank you.